Kalimera! How's everyone? Hope everyone had a lovely Mother's Day. She deserves it. She's mum is important. You know she is. Of course. And then it, and all you beautiful ladies out there. Mm, love all of you. I just remembered something. When I used to work for my dad, 2005 this was, had a Jamaican working for us, and at the time he used to live with me, I let him flat share with me, just come over. And he was a massive John Wayne fan, into cowboy films and everything. And no, I'm not making this up, genuinely. I could see you laughing. No, seriously, it was. And we had the DVD man, Chinese man, come over, bring some DVDs to the garage. DVD, five pound, five pound. And obviously, it was bootleg DVDs. We didn't care anyway. So the Jamaican, he's grabbed hold of these DVDs, looking at the pornos, the cocks in mouths and all that shit. It was me, bun, man. You know what, me want? I went, what do you want? He goes, me love um, John Wayne. Ha, ha, me if him have um, John Wayne. So I said to him, oh, yeah, John Wayne, oh, ah. And he went, no. He goes, it, I go to you, you don't have John Wayne, bruv. He goes to me, bomber clock, what me do now? I went, hold on. So I'm rummaging through the DVDs. <laughs> Couldn't help it, because practical joker that I am. I said to him, Actually, there's a remake, just just released now, 2005, of the classic John Wayne film, True Grit. He goes, yeah, man, me like, me like that True Grit. I went, yeah, this is called Brokeback Mountain. It's, <laughs> it's the remake. I'm trying to keep a straight face, I swear to God. It's the remake of True Grit. You'll love it. There's a lot of action in it. You'll, you'll enjoy the action. Yeah, mum, yeah, mum. I said, you know what, there's a tree, I'll buy it for you. So I bought him the true grit niche, fucking Brokeback Mountain. And he, he went home and watched it, apparently. Anyway, the next day, he comes, he comes to the garage. Fix. He goes to me, Bonner, come now. So I come there, he goes, you know what? You're lucky your daddy sponsored me. I was, you're dead, you're dead. I went, oh, wait, what's the problem? Bomber Clark, man. Me got the red wine, me got the food, me, me, me cuddling up on the sofa with my wife. Me put on the film thinking, yeah, mum, we, we watch a John Wayne film. I went, right, and what's, what's the issue? Cha, me see this man, him, him, um, with our next man, him take him shirt off. The next man take him shirt off. Then they start lipsing up each other and kissing, kissing. Cha, blood, clot. You know what we do? Just said, what did you do? May I press hijack? Me hijack the DVD. I may brock him ras and fling him away. I fling him ras. <laughs> I said to him, oh my god. That I think that was the updated version. Not there's two versions of um he goes, no, 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 don't try that. You take me chichi man, you think me batty man, me, you see, you take me like watching batty man. Oh fuck off, cunt and all that. Anyway, it goes to my cause he used to work for my dad as well. Goes to my dad, Tony, your son, man, him, him like Batty Man. My dad goes, what'd you say? Him, him buy me fill with man, kissy kiss. He goes, I don't understand. He went, him buy me John, him, him think me stupid. Him think me, me born yesterday. Me tell, me tell him me like John Wayne. All right, yeah. And him buy me film, cowboy film, two man kiss. And him think it funny. And you listen to Bado. You should know by now. Don't listen to him. He talks shit. You <laughs> don't listen to a word he says. If you want John Wayne, I've got John Wayne films, the real ones. Don't don't worry about my son. He he's he's uh, he's in his own world. <laughs> True, but then but then the other time, which I didn't like doing through, because I, I felt so for the Chinese guy. He's trying to earn a living. Every time the Chinese man comes to the garage with the DVDs, he goes to the my, my Jamaican mate goes to me, keep him talking, keep him talking. I didn't understand why, so I kept him talking. And it, a corner of my a Jamaican guy was teething off the DVDs. Honest to God, Glyph Gender. And I thought that's not really nice, man, because the guys, the Chinese guys, are trying to earn a living. So I thought I'm not going to be part of your fucking deception. That's rude. So anyway, Ch Chinese guy coming again. And we had another guy working at the garage, and he goes, the Chinese guy, don't, 
he doesn't buy film. He steal. He he no buy. He no buy. So he looked at my Jamaican mate and he goes to him, stand up. So he stood up. This is after the guy had been in the office for a while. And as he stood up and he he had so many in his overalls, like he knew what was coming out from his overalls. And there were the porno ones. And he goes, oh, you take, you take. The Chinese guy was all right about it, but it's not the point, man. It's, stealing is wrong. Absolutely wrong. I did play a lot of tricks on this guy at the garage, man. I'm very lucky that because I knew him, I got away with half the shit, man. I got away with a lot, a lot of things. Like, um, oh, yeah. My my other friend. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm leaning over a car, just doing the spark plugs or whatever. And I'm wearing um, jewellery. And as I've gone to just undo the spark plug or do it, whenever I was doing my cross, it fell down. So my Jamaican friend is there. And I've gone to pick up the chain. He goes, no, no, man, you, your hand's dirty. Let me, me put it back on for you. I went, oh, thank you, man. So I've I've gone I've gone up and he's gone to put my my cross back, back on around my neck. And my dad goes, oi, stop what you're doing. Someone get me a camera. And I thought, shit, better stop. Because I was fucking know, what have I done wrong? Every time I get the blame for something. And, um... Quick, quick, quick with the camera. So my Jamaican friend's got the got the chain round my neck, but he hasn't hooked it on at the back. I've stopped because I'm, I ain't got a fucking clue what's going on. And my dad goes to me, it's the first time I've seen a black man put a chain back on someone's neck as opposed to rip it off. And don't worry, I've actually said that comment in jest because I've got a lot of black people in my family who I love dearly and they're my family. So don't get offended by that comment. It was a joke. Because the Jamaican guy that my dad said a comment to goes to my dad, Tony, we're family. Because it was part of the family anyway, so it wasn't a problem. My dad said it in jest anyway, so it was it was actually a joke. The guy fell on the floor laughing. I thought, he's laughing and he's, he found it funny, which is good. But where the fuck is my chain? That's what I wanted to know. All this about... <laughs> my chain still was not on the back of my neck. I'm looking for my fucking chain. As he's gone down laughing his head off, because he found what my dad said hilarious, he was still holding my fucking chain. <laughs> Jokes aside, yeah, he put it back on my neck and everything was fine. But that's what I mean, because we, we all joke around and that, yeah, it's sometimes I understand. But yeah, if I offended anyone, I'm, I'm very sorry. It was, I'm just, I'm just reminiscing what happened in the past. It wasn't meant as a comment of of any kind it's me anyway i'm crazy so i'm the last person to offend people really not in that way so i say sorry right now and that's it really um last thing yeah i went out with this girl we never went on a date after what i said to her because again my humor gets in used to get in the way of everything now we went we're ready to go to the cinema i met up with her and she went like this. You smell nice. What you got on? I said to her, I've got a hard on. Re didn't realise you could smell it though. Oh man, that was it. Never met never saw her the week after that. Oh, miserable bitch, man. Little little joke here and there and you can't take it. Mind you, the hard on was pressing up against her fingers. Nearly crushed her fingers, so that probably explains why. Um... <laughs> Ah, le bello plasma. Crazy man. Anyway, look, you know, I love you all, really. You guys, thank you, by the way, for having my back at the weekend. It hasn't gone unnoticed. And you're my Facebook family, and I'd love to say family in real life. All of you, love you all to the bone, man. Thank you so much for everything. And I will keep smiling, keep shining, and more songs and, and more jokes on the way. Peace out. Thank you.